Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to set up what I call an Agile Software Development Kit for PHP on Windows 7. First thing you need to do is make sure that your Windows 7 is currently up to date. Now you want to download and install the Java Runtime Environment. You probably don't want the Ask Toolbar. Next, go to your computer, go to C, make a new folder, called Eclipse. Inside of that folder, make a folder called Workspace. Download the Eclipse PDT from Zend. Extract. Now, go to your Eclipse folder in the C directory. Copy the Eclipse PHP folder to the Eclipse directory. Now, download and install the Examp Win32 VC9 installer. Make sure that when you download this, you do not install the VC6 installer as it is not compatible with the Xdebug plugin for Eclipse PDT. Once your download is complete, follow the instructions to install the XAMPP Win32 VC9. Once the installation is complete, launch the XAMPP control panel. Install each of the XAMPP services, Apache, MySQL, and FileZilla. Once you have installed the services, start them. Now, go to your local host, select the language, go to security. So you'll notice the XAMPP pages, MySQL, and PHP are insecure. Select the XAMPP security settings. Change your MySQL password. Your localhost server should now be secure. If your file Zilla is not secure, go to the XAMPP control panel. In the admin section, you can change the administration password. You should also set your configurations to automatically start Apache, MySQL, and FileZilla. Now, start a command line. Make sure you run it as administrator. Move to your XAMPP directory. Then move to the PHP directory within XAMPP. Install pair PHP unit with the following commands.
navigate to your clips folder within the C. I like to create an Eclipse shortcut on my desktop. Set your workspace to the Eclipse workspace. Now go to your local host where you can find the PHP info output. View the frame source, copy it, and go to xdebug.org slash wizard. Copy the output into the wizard text box and select the analyze my PHP info. It tells us that we need to download the xdebug vc9 dll. It also tells us to move it to XAMPP PHP extensions folder. Go to your PHP folder within XAMPP, find the PHP any file. Scroll to the bottom where you find the xdebug settings. Change them to the following. Save the file, exit it, open your XAMPP control panel, Select Services, find the Apache service, and select Restart. Go to your local host to view your PHP info. Refresh it. Go back to the xdebug wizard and paste the PHP info output to analyze it. We should now see that we're already running the latest version of xdebug. If this is not the case, go back and check your steps until you get this output. Now, go back to the Eclipse IDE, go to the Help menu, and select install new software. Navigate to the eclipse.piece-framework.com Press enter. Select the make good plugin. Accept the terms and agreement. Select finish. Restart the Eclipse IDE. Go to your window, preferences, PHP, PHP executables. Select add. You call this one PHP. CLI. Make Good needs to utilize the PHP command line interface. We will now select the location of our command line interface from the XAMPP folder. Go to C, XAMPP, PHP, and select the php.exe program. We should also select the php.any file, which it should be in the same location. Select CLI, select xdebug, and press finish. 
Now, select the PHP libraries under the PHP. Go to New, add user library called Pair. While the Pair library is selected, click Add External Folder. Navigate to the XAMPP Pair directory within the PHP folder. Press OK. We now need to set up an Eclipse project. If we already have a project we, which we have been working on, we can copy this to the XAMPP htdocs folder. Once this is done, we can create a new PHP project by going to the top left and selecting New PHP Project. We can label our project name. As the same as the folder of our project which we have been working on. Be sure in the contents area to select the option to create project at existing location. Please note that the location of your Eclipse workspace and the location of your Eclipse project cannot be in the same location. Go to the HD docs and select the location of your project within Zen. I like to select the most recent version of PHP because it can conflict with our PHP unit. Select finish that is your workspace cannot contain the location of your project they must be separate if you're going to create a new project which we will do for the for the purpose of this example select new php project all right let's take a break now